everyone. Uh, here I have uh, the chart of uh, crude oil futures. Uh, the symbol is uh, CL. And I have a weekly chart, which is, uh, which is pretty rare. Usually we like to use uh, the daily chart to have a long-term perspective. But uh, oil recently had a pretty big rally uh, since uh, it's pretty much here since November. And now the price is so high compared to uh, the, you know, the, the chart that we have on the daily here that we, have, that, that we need to have a broader view uh, since we are at levels that we haven't seen uh, in more than a year already. So by putting the weekly chart, I just want to show you guys that it's important to have a large view. Uh, if you never had it, if you're just using the, the, the daily chart or if you're a shorter term trader and you're probably using maybe a one hour charts or four hour charts, you are missing out on this, this, uh, this very key level, which is the downtrend line that has been there since uh, 2008. So that's a 13 years old level. So this is a major level that oil, oil is reaching here. Uh, so let's see what's gonna happen. So far, we're having a, a little bit of a battle between buyers and sellers, but so far it is, and again, we're just Wednesday, uh, but so far it's forming kind of a, a doji here. So we're having sellers stepping in at the key level there. So it's gonna be interesting to monitor if this week it can close that way. And if next week there is a bearish uh, engulfing pattern, it would confirm the uh, evening star pattern, which could give us after that a push towards the 200 day moving average around $51. On the other end, if the level breaks, uh, there's still another major level, which is the double top there at 6556. So those are two key levels. Uh, if you, if you think that oil is overextended. And of course, if you are a bull, uh, definitely you want to have that uptrend line on the weekly chart for sure. And on the daily chart, you would like to have this uptrend line there. So those are two key levels for buyers. And the two levels that I showed you for sellers on the weekly chart are there. So, uh, Keep your eyes on it. Of course, also if you're if you like to trade the uh, Fibonacci's, we can see that uh, from that bottom the market start to go up. So from there, the 20 and the 50 uh, daily moving average crossed up. So that's a good spot to start drawing your fib. So as you can see there, you could have your Fibonacci's from the low here to the top. And of course, it could change if the market continues to go higher. But that's that's a good starting point there. Thank you.